Hello guys, I am Mahi the Man here, and today I will be giving you what I think are the top 5 best smartwatches under $50. And I don't mean just budget smartwatches, stuff that you can find at, at Dollar Tree or something, something like, I mean, can you find that stuff at Dollar Tree? Well, anyway, these aren't really those cheap smartwatches that you find. They can only tell you your steps. No, I mean big, top budget items, stuff that can do, that can be on par with things like the Apple Watch, even. Apple Watch, you, you know, guys, that costs like 300, at least 300 bucks, maybe, for the newest ones. These ones, these are going to be pushing 50, you know, even well under 50. And two of the smartwatches that I'm giving you guys here are actually even bought by me. One is bought by me here and one is bought by my dad. So, you know, I'll, I'll be reviewing this watch. I'll be reviewing that watch. I'll be reviewing this watch, this watch, and you know, even, even this watch. So like, uh, stay tuned to hear more and I will be looking to get your feedback in the comments below. Okay, so the first smartwatch that I'm going to be reviewing to you guys right now is the Amazfit Band 5. This is the watch that I've been using for the past six months, and baby, I can honestly tell you that it's great. You know, the basic features that it comes with is up to 15 day battery life, not 15 hour, 15 day battery life. Alexa built in, an AI system built right into your watch, just like the Apple Watch, which is 400 bucks. This is going for sale on, you know, Amazon for $35 right now. It was $40 originally, which I got it for. A great deal, by the way, a great steal even. And it also comes with music control, which you can control your music right from your watch without having to have your phone with you. It can it, it tracks your sleep when you got up, when you woke up, when you, you, you know, did all that stuff. Track everything about your sleep, really. It's kind of creepy. That's just kind of creepy. But also, um, it gives you oxygen, blood oxygen tracking, and beats per minute, uh, which your heart beats, obviously. And those two are also great health features that it gives you. It also has multiple exercise modes that it can track running, it can track freestyle, it can even track you weightlifting, you know, even dancing, whatever. It can even track your mountain biking, which is also really, really creepy because then uh, the government knows where I've been going, but uh, that's a, something for another video. For, for now, like, you know, it's also water resistant, which means I can swim with it, go to the water park with it, shower with it, whatnot, all of that stuff. And it does all of this stuff very, very seamlessly. You know, I've been having no problems with it whatsoever. And it's great. You know, I highly recommend this watch. I also highly recommend the next watch, which is owned by my dad. All the other ones are stuff that I found online. So this one is a total steal. I'm telling you that. Okay, so the next smartwatch that I'm reviewing for you is called the Xiaomi Band 5. This is clocking in at 32 something on Amazon. And it's just basically the same thing as the Amazfit Band 5, except it just doesn't come with Alexa built in. But hey, it's like, what, $8 cheaper, $3 cheaper if you count the sale that's going on for this watch. So like, you know, it's just such a great steal. I've also tested that one out. It goes good, the same thing as this watch apparently. So, uh, you know, get, get one of those two is what I would recommend. From what I can tell you, all the next smartwatches that I'm reviewing right now, it's just all stuff that I found online with multiple sources that I cross-referenced it with. And that's just, you know, don't take whatever I'm telling you right now as your first, you know, choice and just buy whatever's on there. Like, don't do that, you know? Check with all the sources. I'm just one of your sources. So, you know, don't just, don't go out that like that. Just, I'm telling you, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so this smartwatch is called the Mugo smartwatch and it's clocking in on Amazon for $33 and the main reason why I chose this watch to give you guys is that let's be honest It's a pretty mediocre device from what I've seen online But you know, it just only comes with eight modes come it detects your BPM heart rate that stuff it can detect your sleep pretty averagely and But the main thing just basically that I wanted to tell you guys is that this is known for its water resistance if I was a swimmer like I used to if I used to do a lot of swimming I probably would have gotten this watch because a lot of people in the reviews have been saying that this um, water water resistance is the best thing about it. It looks kind of like an Apple watch, so <laughs> you might want to have a reason to flex on your friends with it, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Also, it's that, you know, that's just all of it, actually. Come to think of it, that's all of it. It doesn't have any blood oxygen or any of that, really. Honestly, it's kind of not like, if you really want to go for that water resistance, you know, only for the water resistance. Get this, it comes with a bunch of other features. That's all I'm gonna tell you guys, you know. 
I wouldn't recommend this watch if you're looking for a watch that does everything. That stuff is just all highlighted. The first two, these coming smart watches are only for what they're unique for. So, you know, this one's unique for waterproofness. And that's it, I can tell you that. Another note that I wanted to provide with you guys is that none of these watches actually come with the ability to respond to texts or respond to calls and actually talk on the phone with people. Um, what these watches can do is that it can accept or decline calls given to you and, it can, and they can detect SMS text messages or any notifications that you get. Just know that you won't be able to access any of those apps. You won't be able to go into any of those apps. You know, it just, it, it is what it is. And you know, it's not meant to be your phone. It's meant to be an app. It's mainly meant for exercise. So, you know, that's just a disclaimer that I wanted to put out there. Okay, so the next smartwatch I'm gonna be showing you guys is the Yamei smartwatch. Now this smartwatch is really, really simple. It has the exact same features as the first two smartwatches, meaning mine and my dad's features. And the only thing that's different about it is that it's the latest version, can do all of that stuff. Plus it looks more of a square design. It just won't look like this slim band here. It'll look like more like a square, like the Apple watch. So, you know, if you're, if you're looking to gain that extra advantage, flex this on some people, then, uh, you know, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna be good for you. And, but like, if, if you show anybody the user interface when you go in, yeah, it's gonna look as fake as a Snapchat filter. I'm telling you right now. And so that's basically it though. That's what it does, it's the latest version, the square model, that's it. Flexing, flexing power, my dudes, flexing powers. The final smartwatch that I'll be reviewing for you guys today is the Willful smartwatch. Now, this is a watch that's known for its comfort. It has over 4,000 positive reviews on Amazon, and Willful is something, is, is a brand that is very popular, has millions of customers, so um, it's pretty reliable. Now, this is mainly just like accredited because um, it's really, really comfortable and it looks like an Apple watch and like it's just a mediocre watch. It gives you your steps, it gives you your calories burned, gives you some sports modes, BPM, no blood oxygen, and you can track your sleep from what I've heard. And it has all positive reviews. It does what it does good and you know, it's quality. It's $33, $30 if you choose another color, but for the black version it's $33. And honestly, I think you should get the black version, in my opinion, for any watch that you get, but you know, you're free to choose any other color that you want. Now, that's it guys. Psych, actually, no, 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 I have a bonus smartwatch for you guys, but this is actually not under $50, it's about $60 on Amazon. This watch is, yes, it's called the Amazfit 50U. Why they chose that name, I don't know, but you know, kind of has, kind of has his ring to it. And so, this is from Am Amazfit, which is a brand where I got my smartwatch from, but it's $60 and it does all the same things that this watch does. It actually has more sports modes, so it can give you more sports modes, more of the activities that it can cover that you do. And mainly it's just all that stuff. It looks like an Apple watch. It's highly reliable, looks very high quality. It has a high res resolution screen and you know, I love it. I highly recommend this brand, but uh, it's $10 above the rate. So it might not be your budget, but it's a good worth to try. Bye-bye, guys, and until next time.